So, who agrees with Tiny Tears? Who thinks we should go back? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's YC Rhino and we are moving on to episode three of Dairy Girls. If you're new to my channel, thank you very much for clicking on this video. If you're not new to my channel, thank you very much for your continued support. And if you're interested in seeing the full length unedited version of this reaction, you can check it out on Patreon. A link is in the description box below. So let's go ahead and get into episode three and I hope you guys enjoy my reaction. Go on. I don't know what the world is coming to. Bloody perverts. You're overreacting. <laughs> yeah, he is. What are you trying to do? Change race? Give us a going over with the hair dryer, will you? Oh, well, girl. To be Easy on the... But this is probably not accurate, because back in the 90s, people were going to tanning beds. They weren't oh, using... Time, so. They weren't using tanning lotion, were they? Come on, girls. Time to the road here. Two-hour drive of traffic. Of this thing's in Belfast. Why don't you just sell away and send a white slavery and be done with it? <laughs> <laughs> That's worse. So they hit his kind there. My kind. Pricks. That is enough. Oh, I'm like, well, his kind? What's that mean? Look at Belfast Zoo today when a polar bear escaped from its enclosure. Oh, God. They're, you're not going to Belfast now. No, we just see that. Nick, say on that concert. Polar bear's going to track us. You're not going. Stuff mommy's bothered by that. You're not going. <laughs> you wait, Mama. Getting ready to shut that down. Was up a polar bear? <laughs> rock open a I want to say that. Take that. Seems like I remember. Take that. Sure, the concert's nowhere near the zoo. But he's not in the zoo anymore, is he? Simple. Sam? That's right. <laughs> I'm sure Belfast is a pretty large city, though, right? Come on, Mary. If you don't let Aaron go, then our man won't let us go. Well, neither the shoot. And I'd be ringing them to say as much. Oh, brilliant! Oh, I yeah, you. I don't know why you ran your mouth. You should have just dipped on out the back door. <laughs> the other concerts. No, no, they won't. Take that. Don't last that long. Well, I'm, I'm about to look. I think I know at least one take that song. Right I gotta, I gotta okay. Google it. Sometimes when Rob is being interviewed, it's like he's sending me messages through the TV. Is that Robbie Williams? I'm going to that concert. I'm not afraid of a fucking polar bear. Me. How you gonna get there? Bastard. I'll kill it with me on two hands if I have to. <laughs> we don't actually have to fight a polar bear. And if we did, I wouldn't really fancy our chances because, well, they're massive. Claire is always the voice of reason in this group. We're not gonna try and change their minds. We're just gonna go do it. Else. What? Lie. Liar holes off. <laughs> yeah, you look like a fucking provo. Look, I don't want anyone recognizing me, okay? No one's gonna recognize you, Claire. Claire Devlin, is that you? Oh, shit! <laughs> See? Claire is the smartest one on this damn team. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that now. We're going to the museum. Which museum? The Ulster Museum. What for? A project, the history project. What about? Ulster. <laughs> She's like, all right for now, but I'm gonna verify that later. What are the chances? Like, what are the chances that they would get on the bus with somebody they know? What's she getting now? Reading her book. The Exorcist? <laughs> oh, watch her read The Exorcist. <laughs> Christ, but this is heavy. How much vodka is in yours? that suitcase? It's not ours. Not yours? We have never seen it before in our lives, have we, girls? Oh, dear God. I think we have a cold red in our hands. Oh, Driver, no. Y'all are never going to get to the concert now. <laughs> Why did they put it on the seat? Why didn't they just put it under the seat by their this feet? Isn't great. It's not that big a deal. They're about to blow up an entire suitcase of vodka machine. <laughs> Why is this place so mental? That's enough, James. You have serious fucking anger management issues. Do you know that? They always accuse him of overreacting. He like, I barely even... Oh, they shot it. Mm. Can I have a smell of vodka down here, over? <laughs> vodka, did you say? Not the Macarena. Interesting. What? Okay, this is a great plan. We can all walk to Belfast. Why are y'all, why'd you get off the bus? Just me, or is that Gypsy and I have so right? Michelle, you cannot say that. What? They're called travelers now. You can't say Gypsy anymore. It's insulting. <laughs> I'm a bit scared of them. Is that racist? Yes, very much so. Is Gypsy even a race? Traveler. How are you, girl? <laughs> I'm talking to you. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's going on? I'm going to have to come after you, am I? Jesus Christ. You already are coming after them. What are you talking about? 
Why are they chasing them? Why don't he, why doesn't he just tell them why he's trying to get them to stop? That would be easier. Back off, you heard me? I'm not messing around with this thing. Why are you being so weird? Why did you chase us? Right. Because you dropped us. My purse? Well, why didn't why you, did you just say, hey, you? you dropped your purse? Because you were chasing them, literally. These guys bothering you girls? Yes, yes, they are. They're fucking mad men. They're going to kill us. Help us, please. <laughs> Jump in. What makes you think she's any more reliable? Are they gonna get to this concert after all? They might. Have you ever actually met them, Rita? Check that. No, I can't stand them if I'm being honest, but their fans are so sick they'll be any age, shake, present company included. I think you mean excluded. No, no, I don't. <laughs> oh, beer. I see. Alcoholic beer. Mm-hmm. The best kind. Instrument glorious. Any idea what the speed limit is around here? Ruby. Close your eyes, girl. Yeah, it's not even spelled right. <laughs> she got knockoff merch. Ma'am, we are gonna need you to pay attention to the road. <laughs> is it? Does it? Do any of them know how to drive? We should have took our chances with the gypsies. Travelers. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a person. Oh my God, the <gasps> not a polar bear. <laughs> Bitch. That is not a polar bear. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yep. Oh. But where is James? Did James even get into the van with them? Did they leave James? So as far as I can make out. You think you left this James character with a gypsy travelers? <gasps> James! If we go back for him, we're going to miss the start of the concert. But he's your cousin. He hasn't lost a cousin or two in their time. Okay, okay. So, who agrees with Tiny Tears? Who thinks we should go back? We can't turn back. There's too much at stake. James has the tickets. Shit. Oh, are you going back for James? <laughs> There's no, you don't have no choice. What? A polar bear. Margot Murphy's niece saw him just outside the Abracababra in cold rain, apparently. <laughs> Buzz Michelle's mother there. Tell her we need our wins back. I will shoot you, Tommy. Not there. Don't answer. That might be him. That might be the polar bear. The polar bear, bear knocking yeah, on the door. Because they're known for their impeccable manners. <laughs> <laughs> our wits end over at our place. It's desperate, so it is. Oh, <gasps> Mary, Jerry. Well, Morning, shit. Open. Can you credit this arsehole? Where are the kids? A group of firefighters who were helping with the search discovered the animal close to the A6 between Belfast and London Derry feasting on a sheep carcass. Not the sheep! Michelle, James and Claire, did they tell you they were coming round here? Aye. That's right. The wee fuckers. Mm, the wee fuckers lied. <laughs> oh, look at James. He's fitting right in with the travelers. He's like, hey, I found my people. They don't, they're not mean to me. What up? Get in the van, fucko. They don't have to if they don't want to, James. What is going on, James? John joined the lads. Well, they just get me. I'm not leaving, Michelle. Not even for Gary Barlow. I don't really rate him as a as a as a songwriter, you know. He said you cross the line. <laughs> He's like, I gotta go. I can't. He said. He said. I thought I found my people. My Michelle's gonna be wishing she was mauled to death for that thing when I get my hands <laughs> on her. I don't know what to do anymore. I mean, they say that all teenagers are a bit Well, rebellious. you know where they went. Claire's off the scale. We just need some cold hard proof they went to that concert. And then, by Christ, they won't know what's happening. Where, who has it? They're literally right there on TV. Don't take, Jerry, don't, don't blow it for them. Let them, let them live it up. But you can hold it over them later. They got to the concert. That's awesome. Okay, guys, there we have it. That was episode three of Dairy Girls. Hey, I, you know, I understand when you're a teenager and you, you idolize a band, you will do anything you can do to go see that band. And I remember take that. Well, I think I remember Robbie Williams more when he became a solo, solo artist, but yeah, uh, I can, I can understand. I probably would have done the same thing back in my day for, uh, new edition or, um, who was big? New kids on the block were kind of big when I was in high school, but probably new edition was the thing would, would have been the, 
the boy band for me. So let me know what, what, when you were in high school, what, what band, it boy band, rock band, whatever, whatever type of music you listen to when you're in high school, what band would you have defied your parents for to go see? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, let me know what's the best concert you've ever been to. Like, what's that concert that you just, you know, just everything about it was just perfect. I would love to hear hear your concert experiences. Uh, maybe your first concert, your, your favorite concert. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.